As the saga of the Ukraine conflict unfolds, global powers edge closer to a definitive stand. The possibility of a more direct Western intervention lies heavy in the air, their arsenal boasting formidable weapons that could alter the Ukrainian fate. The debate stirs around the prospective deployment of the Abrams or the Leopard tanks, these fearsome vehicles symbolizing Western might. Either could provide a crushing advantage to the Ukrainian forces, turning the tide of the battlefield in their favor. However, amid these contenders, a new challenger emerges from the minds of French innovation, the Leclerc tank. This behemoth matches its American and German counterparts in firepower, mobility, and protection. Its claim to fame, however, is a groundbreaking degree of automation and digital integration, with advanced fire control and battlefield management systems that reflect the future of warfare. The Leclerc forges its own path, embracing an active defensive philosophy, pivoting towards agility in response. Encased in thick modular composite armor, it readies to weather the harshest warfare conditions. Now, the world watches as the drama unfolds, anticipating the possible advent of the Leclerc and its trailblazing technology into a new chapter of the war in Ukraine. Inception. In 1964, Europe lay fully engulfed by the Cold War. Against this backdrop of paranoia and palpable tension, French officials began proactively pursuing a new defense, prompted by the growing Soviet armored threat. Thus, the seed was sown for the Shar Futur project in 1971, the French solution to counter the relentless march of Soviet tank technologies. Throughout the 1970s, the European chessboard of power was locked in a stalemate. Hush negotiations filled the air with a tangible unease as nations wrestled to match their armaments with the emerging Soviet threat. Attempts at collaboration, however, stumbled in the face of clashing agendas. The promise of a unified military front with West Germany in 1982 crumbled, leaving Europe's military defenses splintered. In response, France birthed its own bulwark against the rising threats, the Engin Principal de Combat, or EPC. This battle tank program sought to materialize French ideals into a formidable weapon. The EPC, later christened Leclerc in 1986, introduced an unorthodox approach to tank design. It challenged traditional norms by emphasizing active protection and mobility over passive protection. The Leclerc sought to control its weight, leveraging speed and maneuverability to combat the intimidating Soviet armored divisions. Production commenced in 1990, just as the towering Soviet threat waned. The first wave of Leclerc tanks, Batch 1, was rolled out. Four units meant primarily for comparative testing. However, the journey was not without its hurdles. Batch 2 was plagued with problems relating to armor, engine, and suspension, leading to its premature retirement. But France held firm, refining and improving subsequent batches with dogged determination. In a game-changing move, the United Arab Emirates ordered 436 Leclerc units, forming a new alliance against the shifting sand of the post-Berlin Wall era. This signaled a profound shift in global partnerships, a silent testament to the evolving geopolitics. By 2007, 355 Leclerc tanks were slated to take to the field, with 320 allocated among four regiments. However, budgetary constraints curtailed this ambitious plan resulting in only 254 tanks fully operational by 2011. Despite their limited numbers, the vehicle's capabilities would soon be made clear. Effective Design The Leclerc tank, a testament to French engineering, boasted several standard features that set it apart in its class. The centerpiece of its armament is a 120mm F1 smoothbore gun, an awe-inspiring weapon with a 52 caliber long barrel that offers superior muzzle velocity. Accompanying this is an autoloader designed by Crusoe Loire Industry, which allows for seamless reloading during movement and can manage up to six targets in a minute. The Leclerc deviates from most NATO tanks thanks to its unique weapon configuration, boasting a 12.7mm M2 heavy machine gun and a turret-mounted 7.62mm machine gun. It's an unconventional combination that adds a distinctive edge to its arsenal. Technology sits at the heart of the Leclerc, with its battle management system, Icon TIS, 
designed to integrate data from other tanks and command levels. This facilitates independent operation by the gunner or commander, enabling the hunter-killer mode operation with the help of the gunner's primary sight and the commander's panoramic sight. Powering this formidable beast is a stealthy B8X 1500 engine, cleverly designed to minimize visible smoke during acceleration, thereby reducing its infrared signature. The Leclerc's defenses are robust, with a hull and turret fastened from welded steel plates 30 to 50 millimeters thick. These are further fortified with removable composite armor modules. Six heavy ballistic side skirts shield the front sides of the hull, contributing to the tank's impressive defense. Upgrades in the late 90s rendered the Leclerc impervious to modern threats like ATGMs with tandem-shaped charge warheads and long-rod APF SDS. Using titanium in the turret's frontal arc ballistic protection helps manage the dynamic laying of the turret drives. The Leclerc S21 tanks, identifiable by add-on ceramic armor plates, offer additional protection for the autoloader compartment. Under the hood, the Leclerc is powered by an 8-cylinder SACM V8X 1500, which is a 1500-horsepower hyperbar diesel engine and an SNEM automatic transmission. It can achieve a top speed of 71 km per hour on-road and 55 km per hour off-road, with the potential to exceed 80 km per hour. The tank has a maximum range of 550 km, which can be extended to 650 km with removable external tanks. Despite its impressive features and a combat weight of 56 tons, the Leclerc is one of the later main battle tanks, or MBTs, in the world. Its comparatively light structure results in one of the best power-to-weight ratios among Western tanks, 27 horsepower per ton. Consequently, the Leclerc is one of the fastest MBTs of its generation, capable of accelerating from 0 to 32 km per hour in just 5 seconds. Combat Capabilities The Leclerc tank has long served in low-intensity conflicts. It has faithfully stood guard in regions like Kosovo, where 15 of these robust vehicles supported the KFOR operations, and South Lebanon, where 13 Leclercs fortified Unifil peacekeeping forces until 2010. Their performance in these deployments earned the nod of approval from French officials, marking the Leclerc as a reliable asset in peacekeeping. However, the true crucible for the Leclerc emerged in the heat of the Yemen conflict near Aden, here, as part of the Saudi-led coalition, an estimated fleet of 70 Leclerc main battle tanks was deployed by the UAE. Despite the ferocity of the combat, only three tanks sustained damage, underscoring the Leclerc's resilience and sturdiness. Yet, the deployments to date have barely scratched the surface of the Leclerc's capabilities. But as murmurs grow louder about a potential transfer of Leclerc tanks from Paris to Kiev, the veil shrouding the tank's potential might soon be lifted. While the Leclerc might not share the limelight with the American Abrams or the German Leopard, its potential to significantly bolster Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression is at par, if not higher. Transitioning from the outdated Soviet-era T-64s, which made up the backbone of the Ukrainian armored forces before the war, to the technologically advanced, semi-automated Leclerc would signify a giant leap forward for Ukraine. One notable advantage of the Leclerc is its highly automated systems, which require only a three-man crew unlike the traditional four-man teams. This not only reduces manpower needs, but also potentially streamlines training requirements, making the Leclerc a compelling contender among the Western tank alternatives under consideration. The unassuming yet powerful Leclerc tank, a product of French ingenuity, now stands on the precipice of a pivotal role, potentially shifting the fate of Ukraine as it resiliently stands against Russian aggression. Thanks for watching Dark Tech. For the newest developments in modern warfare and weapons technology, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want more military content, check out your screen and explore our other Dark Documentaries channels. We publish new content regularly, so stay tuned.